Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic in organic chemistry that is the how to identify electrophile and nucleophile. So here are the electrophile and nucleophile. The file, the word coming from the word like philia. Philia, it's the word coming from the Greek. So which means that love or attraction or friendship. Okay, let us discuss what is nucleophile, what is electrophile. Here, the first one is the nucleophile. What is nucleophile? The nucleo, the word indicates the nucleo, which means that nucleus. Files that call loving, the nucleus loving. As we know that the nucleus always having positive charge. So our nuclear loving group should have negative charge. So always this nucleophile may be having a negative charge or some of the neutral nucleophile will also be available. Let us discuss later. So here general thing is nucleophile which is having negative charge. Okay, right. And second one is electrophile. What is the electrophile? So it is a electron loving. So electron always having negative charge. But electrophile that should have positive charge. Are you able to understand the electrophile? The electrons are always having negative charge, the electrophile having positive charge. Let's discuss what is electrophile and what is nucleophile. So here this chart will give you the entire idea about the nucleophile and electrophiles. Okay. This chart will give you the entire idea about nucleophile and electrophiles. So here the nucleophiles are nothing but they are electron rich chemical species and electrophiles or electron deficient chemical species. So it has a lot of electrons here there will be a le lesser number of electrons even deficient of electrons and always it is negatively charged some of the time it may not be a negative neutral nucleophile also be available let us discuss here so here negatively charged and here it is positively charged electrophiles and here it has a complete octet so it has a complete octet configuration but here incomplete octet so how we can find out incomplete and incomplete octet configuration i'll give you some examples later you just check it out now these are all the nucleophiles can be classified into two types so two different nucleophiles are there what are that so then negatively charged nucleophile that is the charge nucleophile will having negative charge that kind of things are there and some of the nucleophiles which are available without any charge so that's called neutral nucleophiles are also be available here because that has power of electron that can able to donate that electrons can be donated to form a bond that kind of a nucleophiles will always called as neutral nucleophiles here negatively charged nucleophiles look at cl minus br minus i minus r minus oh minus en minus H minus and RO minus etc etc number of nucleophiles are there so just I'm giving only few here neutral nucleophiles so water is a good example then RO are ether ammonia and amine compounds like a primary amine secondary amine tertiary amine and lithium aluminum hydride Grignard reagent these are all coming under the category of neutral nucleophiles and next one is positively charged uh, electrophiles what are all that it has a it has a positive charge in it so h plus ch3 plus no plus no2 plus cl plus br plus h3o plus etc etc out of which a neutral uh, electrophile will also be available because their nuclear electrophiles are nothing but electron deficient one so bf3 boron trifluoride aluminium chloride ferric chloride, ferric bromide and ketones, aldehydes etc etc these are all coming under the neutral electrophiles. Let us discuss how to find out it is a electrophile and nucleophile here it is a if it satisfies complete octet that will be act as a even it has a negative charge that time it will be acting as a nucleophile if it is an incomplete octet that time it will be considered as a electrophile because the deficient of electrons is there let us calculate how to uh, complete how to calculate or how to find out the complete and incomplete octet configuration so here the first thing is we have to calculate it for nucleophiles find out for nucleophiles so here cl minus 
as we know that the chlorine configuration atomic number is 17 so if we write the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 i think so 2p6 2p6 3s2 3p5 are you able to understand 2 4 10 12 17 totally 17 is there so 17 is there okay so uh, if you consider this is a K shell, this is a L shell, this is a M shell. If you consider in that outermost orbital, it has seven valence electron. The valence electron is seven. That's what I have taken as seven electron. Out of which one electron is in excess. Okay, it is in excess. So that is what I put one plus one. So it follows octet rule. So it attains stability. Tiny stability, okay, noble gas configuration at a time. That is what it follows octet rule. And uh, next example is OH minus. So these are all the negatively charged nuclear files that I will be giving the example like this. So OH minus, as you know that oxygen atomic number is A, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. What is that? 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So outermost electron, valence electron is 6. That's what I written 6. 1H, valence electron for hydrogen is 1 and 1 excess electron is there, that's what they put minus, so that's what 1 plus is there, okay, so I have to add 1 electron because 1 electron is excess, that's what I have to add 1 electron, so total 8, it also follows octet configuration, okay, and next thing is the water, it is for neutral molecule, so how it is, it's the same thing, for oxygen, for oxygen we know that valence electron is 6, am I right? Valence electron 6 according to this rule. So 6 is the valence electron of oxygen. Plus how many, what the valence electron of hydrogen is? 1. How many hydrogens are there? 2 hydrogens are there. What is the valency? 1. So 2 into 1 to so totally 8. It also follows octet rule. Are you able to understand? Are you able to understand student? So this is the octet rule. So it, the condition is, so here you just listen. It has complete octet configuration. What is that? Nucleophiles. Now we discussed about the nucleophile. Nucleophiles have complete octet configuration. Are you able to understand? And next one is electrophile. So electrophile we have two categories. One is the positively charged electrophiles. Another one is the, some of the neutral molecules will also act as a electron deficient compound. Okay, that we have to see in different case, two different cases. So here, as usual, we have to calculate by using, uh, find out by using this uh, trick. What is that? So valency of carbon is 4. Total number of uh, hydrogen is 3. Valency of hydrogen is 1. So totally 7. And one positive charge is there. That's what I have to minus 1. So one that means one electron is less. That's what it has positive charge. So that I have to minus it. So totally 7 minus 1, 6. It does not follow octet configuration. It's a extra configuration only. And Br plus. Br plus also same thing. What is that? Valence electron is 7. Okay. But, but they having minus plus 1 charge. So one electron is less. So I have to minus 1 charge. That is what uh, 6. This also is extra configuration. And uh, if you look at these compounds. They should follow some different things. There is a BF3, boron. So what is the valence of boron? Valence of boron is 3. So even though it is not a metallic compound, it's not a metallic one. So it is a covalent. It easily it has a tendency to form covalent. So its covalency is nothing but um, uh, actually it is uh, valency is 3. So it can able to form 3 bonds. Only 3 bonds. Okay. That's what it forms a compound like a BF3, BH3. BCL3 okay that kind of compounds are existing okay so if you uh, three bonds are that means three uh, are getting by its own that is boron having three valency three electrons and three are them obtained from fluorine okay by covalency so total is six okay so total is six that's what it is also incomplete octet okay that is what these boron will act as a highly electron deficient so it required two electrons to achieve octet configuration but here two electrons are deficient that boron will act as a electron deficient one are you able to understand and next one is ketone 
as you know that um, so here it is a highly electronegative one oxygen is highly electronegative one are you able to understand oxygen is highly electronegative one and moreover the that this bond is having double bond this is a sigma bond and this is what it is a pi bond are you able to understand the pi bond it is very easily breakable and uh, more the things is here uh, we are having a highly electronegative one so it has slight negative charge it has slight positive charge okay that is what that electron bond can cleave like this so which forms ions like this that is r c here it is o minus here it is one positive charge is there and one r is there this center will act as now it will be acting as a electro electrophilic center are you able to understand students this is what it plays a very important role so these are all the some recap of this thing so there is nothing but nucleophiles are generally electron rich chemical species it's the electron deficient one here usually a negatively charged one as well as the neutral a nucleophile also available here also it positively charged commonly and neutral uh, electrophiles are also available so these are all the some of the examples of that are able to understand students i think so you understand very well uh, here uh, thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to put a like to this video thank you so much for watching thank you